Today is lesson 10. We're going to model the distributive property with arrays to decompose units as a strategy to multiply. That sounds complicated, but really it's just a way of breaking down arrays. Let's try one. Here's our application problem. A guitar has six strings. How many strings are there on three guitars? Write a multiplication sentence to solve. First, we're going to draw an array to represent the total number of guitar strings. If you take a look at the first row here, you'll see that we have one row of six. A guitar has six strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's our one times six. But since there are three guitars, I'm going to add two more. Another row and another row. Now, I actually have two different multiplication problems. I have one times six, which is the first six, plus two groups of six, so I have three sixes total. So if I take a look at it here, it also can be written as one times six plus two times six, which is just six plus 12. So like I said, it's just simply a way of breaking apart an array to make it a little bit easier. Take a look at this one, okay? Again, here is our array. One group of six plus two groups of six. What does that equal? We'll count them up. It's the same thing as the 18, okay? So we're also saying that it could be also three times six, which is 18. One times six is six, plus two times six is 12, which equals 18, are three groups of six. You have the one group of six, plus two groups of six, equal three groups of six.